And if they have another source of water, they will not throw garbage in it. Those people, they are desperate for water. It's a desert. Nobody would throw garbage in a desert water, you know? So the reason it's garbage full of garbage, the dogs, because this is a well, it's empty, and there's some uh, sewage water coming from the houses in the old days. When a woman, she washed, the, the, uh, until now in the villages, they, they, uh, they wash dishes behind the door of the house. The door of the house will be lower than the rest of the house. Then the whole water will go in the street, and in the street, in the side of the wall, in the, in the wall, there's like a little tunnel for the water to go down to the lower point. And obviously, the dirty water is going there. If, um, if you're aware about the fake um, regards of water, if, there's, if the water is a lot, so that... Okay, well, how much a lot? Well, how much a lot, you think? Mm -hmm. So if, it is, if, if this water is like, let us say... Uh, six meter wide and there's dead dogs and there is garbage and there's women menstruation you would jump in it it's fine for you reading I think it's um the water is not stagnant it's running running water okay so no it's not this is not running water this is not running water uh, Mecca doesn't, does not have a river, my friend. What's running water? And this is Be'ru Bida. This is the reason they call it Bida, because it's a, the, the well of garbage. And here it says, uh, there's a hadith, it measures even how big it is. It says here, Abu Dawood said, I measured the, the, uh, the breadth of the well, okay? Read with me. Mm -hmm. Of Bida with my sheet, which I stretch over it. So he have a sheet. Usually he meant the abaya, you know, his dress. Uh, uh, over it, and I would, with it, I measure it, okay? And with hand, I measure it as six cubit, as width, as a breath. And the height of it was lower than the pubic area. And not only that, it says, and the condition of the water color changed. You see it? The, the color. I saw yeah. the color of the water of the well had changed. It's ugly. So it's not a running water. It's not even a well of water. This is a sewage. This is dirty water. And it's very small. And as you see, it's very low. It doesn't even touch your like to, to your waist, you know. Uh, uh, and it's about six a cubic according to this guy. And as you see, this is Sahih. How um, how long is six cubits? Okay, six cubic is like six arms. Smaller than a room, you know, like when you say, if you have a room, uh, uh, a cubic is less than a meter. So if you have a room, like six by six, small room. I mean, this, um, we can agree and disagree. I mean, like I mentioned, the, I mean, the scholar says the water is running and then... My friend, my water. friend is not running. There is no running water in Mecca except the, the, the spring of Zamzam. Uh, that is a spring, this is not a well. This is a well, and it's obviously is a dry well. This is why people, they throw garbage in it. Do you agree with me that if you live in the desert, nobody will throw garbage in a water can provide them with drinking water? Do we agree? Nobody would do so, that. If you live in the desert, and you have a well of water, do you think people, they will throw garbage in it? No. Okay, so this is because it's dry, and this water may be from rain when it's rained, maybe from the houses, but it's not running water, obviously. And that's why people, they throw garbage. Whatever is inside is not valid. And that's why people are asking him, are you doing that? Did you, did you see that the people say, are you doing this? You know, if it was normal, people would not ask, correct? Do we agree? I don't know, but, um, if it was again, normal, it was normal behavior for people to clean themselves from that water. Then people they will not say to him why you are doing that, and they explain why. 
They are saying to him, there's, there's, there's garbage there. There's uh, uh, women, they throw their rags there. Uh, uh, there's dead dogs there, stinking garbage there. How do you do that? So the people are questioning the behavior of your prophet. And as you see, this is Sahih. And then Muhammad, to explain his very weird behavior, he says, water is always pure, nothing make it impure. Do you agree with this statement? Uh, the last uh, statement, right? Yes. Um, in general, by um, by default, is yes, but then of course there will be exceptions. What do you mean? But, I don't know. But, yeah, I mean, by default, water is pure and it's not default by anything. But then there will be. No, an no, exception. it says here, and nothing make it impure. So, but this is weird. That's mean the sewage. Is it pure because most of the sewage, by the way, is water, correct? Most yeah, of the, well, yeah, most of the sewage, maybe maybe that. maybe eighty-five percent of the sewage is water, or maybe more. So if the water is always pure, well, that means the sewage is always pure. You know what? What is the pee, the piss of a human being? Is water, right? Maybe ninety-nine percent of it is water, correct? I don't know. What do you mean you know? I mean, what, what is your education? Like me, myself, I have elementary school. What is your education? But, okay, but, uh, regarding this hadith, I mean, it's, uh, it's, it's up to the interpretation. I mean, okay, give me the interpretation. No problem. I'm going with you. Go ahead. Give me the interpretation. Like, I'm listening. I'm listening. Like the scholar says, it's not stagnant. It's, so it's what the scholar says, give me what the scholar says. What is that? The scholar says, the prophet is amazing. The prophet is so good. The prophet is the best. This is what the scholar says. We are asking you, you see people in the time of Muhammad, they ask him the question and Muhammad gave the answer. So we do not need even the scholars. He claimed that water is always pure. Nothing make it impure. And as you see, the water did not even cover the, the private part. It's below the private part of the man. It's very low. So you have a small jacuzzi room and there is dead dogs in it. Not one, not two dogs, dead dogs. We do not know how many, which means they are already pieces. Stinking garbage and women in blood from menstruation rags. What, how in the world anyone would do jump there and he clean himself there? Maybe we can um, discuss on other things. No problem. You see, I will go with you. Okay, guys, if you want to change the topic, I will go. You could tell me another thing. Tell me something good about your prophet. Go ahead. He's the last prophet. Well, that will make him good. I mean, he was chosen. I will explain, to, me. I will explain to you something. This is personal. I was the last one in my classroom. In like always I get D or F. I am the last one to enter the school. I'm always late. I'm the last one to to the, the, the teacher to talk to me. I'm the last one. The schools they like me. And this is supposedly make me the good prophet. Hmm. That's interesting. That that's different. Well, what's different? You must have say is the last one. What does that mean? No, because Allah cho chose um Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon Okay, who is Allah and why he <clears throat> chose Muhammad? Why that, I mean... Maybe he chose him because he jumped in dirty water like this? No, he didn't do it. What do you mean he don't do So why he chose him then? I mean, that is the wisdom of Allah. We, we won't... I, mean, I like the word wisdom. You know, it's it's very dumb. I'm asking you why Allah He chose Muhammad. Yeah, you, you, you failed to give me. You see, I changed the topic just for you. You say to me, Allah He changed. He he's the last prophet. What does that mean? This is very silly. Why Allah He what Allah He stopped like He became a mute now. He didn't want to send anyone. So Allah was busy sending messengers one after one after one and stop. And suddenly He closed the faucet. Yeah, the Quran is said to be the last testament. Nowhere in the Quran it says Muhammad is the last prophet. 
No, the Quran says Khatam un Nabiyin. Khatam does not mean the last prophet. Khatam is the seal of the prophet, right? Seal, yeah, he's sealed. He's sealed, what, which means he agree with them. He agree with them. The seal, you know, you, you would a seal, you know what seal mean? You go to the government. It means you go to the close. government, you go to the government, they put their stamp, that is a seal. Meaning, um, I mean, seal can be a different meaning, right? It can be the, the closing no. prophet. Yeah, the well, no, this is false translation and this is false assumption because the seal is the one who agree with the prophet before him, all of them with no exception. Nowhere it says that Muhammad is the last one. And let us assume it says that. What is the proof even that Muhammad is a prophet anyway? There are uh, some factors. Is what? There are some factors that... Some facts? Is, uh, I mean, the fact, some factors, some points that he is... Like what? 